Recently, my doctor told me I needed an MRI scan. But until this moment, I hadn't fully grasped the implications. My mind raced, filled with multiple thoughts. I'm nervous. I mean, I've had tests before, but this feels different. You hear about scans, but once you're standing at the door of that room, everything changes. The room looks like something straight out of a science fiction movie. So cold, so sterile. The machine, well, the scanner, it looks huge. I don't even know where to look or what to do. And the narrow tunnel makes me feel a tightness in my chest. A scary, claustrophobic feeling. Hi. How are you feeling? A little nervous, huh? Yeah. I've never done anything like this before. I mean, it just feels so confined. And I'm not sure about the procedure. I don't know if I can handle it. I totally get it. A lot of people feel the same way before they are scanned. But I promise, technology has advanced in recent times. The machines that you see today are designed to make the experience as smooth and comfortable as possible. Come. Do you have any allergies or metal implants in your body? Uh, no, I don't have any allergies or metal implants. But do patients with metal implants face challenges during scans? Today, technology is enabling scans of all kinds of patients, irrespective of their age, size, clinical conditions, or even metal implants. It's just that patients need to disclose all these details transparently before they are scanned. MRI scans today are not only faster, but also quieter than the ones you might have heard about in the past. You don't have to worry about holding your breath for too long. Freedom from annoying belts over chest and belly, or uncomfortable electrodes with a few MRI scanners. Further, you can also listen to your favorite music while the scan is being done. The technology makes it possible to do dynamic imaging in very sick and uncooperative patients. Right from newborns to the elderly. A more compact bore of a machine with better ventilation and lighting reduces claustrophobia. And less noise means less discomfort. Is injecting a medicine or a chemical necessary before every scan? Some tests may require administering contrast media to highlight specific organs, blood vessels or tissues, helping doctors distinguish between normal and abnormal conditions. However, the latest innovations ensure a low dose of contrast media. I feel better after hearing this. I think it's the way he spoke and his confidence in technology. And don't worry, the improved speed of the equipment reduces scan time. So you don't have to be here for long. And the best part is, even with increased speed, the scanners consistently deliver high quality images. Now I'm realizing how much more comfortable it felt than I expected. The space inside is designed to make sure I don't feel trapped and the soft lighting makes it feel less like a tunnel. The noise, it is loud, sure, but it isn't as bad as I imagined. And they gave me headphones, which is really helping in blocking out most of the sound. The thumping isn't feeling as overwhelming. You're doing great. Just a little longer now. Let me know if you need anything, huh? Now I feel relaxed and the technician is checking in on me continuously to make sure I'm okay. See? Not so bad, right? You did great. If the patient remains calm, the technology ensures better and high quality imaging, helping doctors in accurate diagnosis. I think the hardest part was walking into this room in the first place. Once I got settled in and understood how the technology has advanced, 
it wasn't as scary in the end it was just a smooth quick process i couldn't believe how quickly it was over honestly it wasn't anything like i thought it would be i was expecting something really intense but it was more like a routine just part of the process i felt satisfied that i was able to face my fear i just needed to know what to expect because knowing is comforting <laughs>